Hey guys, this is Devin again. I am doing a little update on my M Wall Aquarium with the DIY Live Rocks. So, as you can see, things are coming on nicely. I've got some fish in there, some damsels, helping cycle the tank. Um, we are, I'm going to call this week one. Um, it's probably been a little bit longer than a week, but I, first several days I didn't have my highlight, metal highlights and lamp fixture, and I didn't have my pump and so it was just water in the aquarium so I'm really not counting that time but it had some fish uh, setbacks with my first refugium and so so we are really been kind of up and running for just right under a week so full so I think uh, things are starting to come along you can already see a good amount of algae uh, building up on the walls some diatoms and stuff from I guess all the bright light um, so I'm happy with that um, it's easy to keep the front glass clean so it's not a big issue so I'm gonna let the rest of it just kind of color in anyhow so uh, the rocks looking good I spent about I want to say 18 to 20 dollars on some live rock rubble and so literally it's just these little pieces of live rock uh, that I found in the bottom of the aquarium store no weight to them whatsoever you know it took me I actually ended up having to buy this chunk of rock just to get enough weight for their minimal purchase. So, um, so but I could that way I could sprinkle around little pieces of live rock with some coralline on it around the aquarium just to try to in different flow areas to try to get me some uh, rock going. Uh, there are some drawbacks to that. Of course, there's going to be some parasites. I originally had planned to just only use uh, plastic plates from an online company, but to order those was like 19 bucks uh, just to get the plastic plates and then shipping and it ended up being just a big issue so I decided uh, to steer clear of that and just impatience won over and I just bought a few rubble pieces from the aquarium. Uh, update on the rock, the rock's looking great. Um, the uh, crabs and snails and stuff love it. Uh, not having any issues there. Uh, algae starting to color on it so it's not quite so stark bright. Um, I have not had any of the pH spikes that you hear on the uh, forums about cautioning live rock. I've also not had what I would consider an excessive algae bloom from uh, play sand or anything like that. So I, I wanted to comment on that. I do have a little bit of sand in my columns and that's what allows it to get that slick texture. There may be a small amount of sand actually in the block too, uh, come to think of it, but a larger percentage of it was actually in the columns. Uh, not quite as much about my t as in my Tonga branch I made, but uh, I don't have any of that in the aquarium. I actually just gave a big Rubbermaid container away to a guy that wanting to use it in his, so uh, we'll see if he has any issues, but I think you know, in the in the mixture of the live rock, I've not had any issue. One of the concerns from one of the forums was that when you form your rock in the actual play sand, you know, so if you make a little play sand bed and then pour the uh, Portland cement mixture in there, that you get uh, the play sand gets adhered to the outside and it causes you some issues. But I mean, I've not seen anything that I was overtly concerned on. My pH has been good with the Portland cement. I've not had what I would consider for the first week of a tank with you know 716 watts of lighting on it to have any excessive type of algae growth or anything like that. I did have a little setback with my fish but I believe that was in part either an issue with my RO water or my um, uh, first refugium I made. Maybe I didn't clean out the uh, pipes or whatever but I lost two fish right off the bat and then bought two more and lost two more. Even though all the water parameters and everything tested well um, so finally I did I did two massive water changes didn't change anything else and um, everything's been fine so no issue since then I did upgrade my refugium to a different design because I was getting some micro bubbles you actually can see some debris in there now um, some of that bubbles that's coming up from my sand bed I think that's probably I think just saw one go up just in uh, part of my cycle uh, things are kind of bubbling up and then settling back down um, but I've uh, been really pleased with how things are going so I hope everybody else is too um, as an update here here's my uh, living room here I've got my lights in I got my TV screen in 
actually had my projector going here. There we go. I had to hit my Xbox controller. And this is with all the lights on. You can see the quality of just the Xbox screen there. I think that's 184 on diagonal. Um, you know, at night or when the lights are off and you're watching from the Blu-ray, I mean, it is movie theater quality. And it was like a, you know, just a Epson run-of-the-mill 720p projector. I think I paid under 500 bucks and really pleased with that. And um, the screen, preparing the wall with primer and then painting it with the uh, a special, not really a special, but a Sherman Williams uh, door and trim paint, uh, enamel, satin finish, extra white, made extremely good quality uh, reflections. And so, I mean, it's every bit, sometimes I'd say better than the movie theater, especially in the dark room. Uh, so, really pleased with that. I've got my boxed in cabinet here framed similar to my aquarium so but let's go around the back here so I'm gonna pause out and go around back and uh, show you the back all right here we go this is the back of my aquarium I got a Advantage Plus uh, 716 watt light fixture it's two metal highlights six moonlights and uh, four T8 actinics really um, cheap fixture uh, price-wise. Um, really pleased with how it looks. I mean it's all metal housing. Uh, fans blow cool air the whole time. It's quiet. Uh, it's got uh, the baluster separate. It does not feel hot at all. I mean there is some warmth when you, especially if you touch the glass underneath. But everything's protected from salt water. Um, just really pleased for the price. Separate cords for everything so you can run it from a timer. Um, 30 bucks in a timer and it's, it goes through the whole daily cycle, moon, nights and everything so I was really pleased. Um, there's my inlet. Uh, put a little check valve there trying to help with the siphon. I uh, had a little hole drilled in the pipe but uh, still got a little bit of a siphon more than I want. Uh, usually cuts off in time. Uh, my glass holes um, kit for I think it's the 1500. Uh, really pleased with it. You can hear how quiet it is if I quit talking. So uh, everything is super quiet. Uh, plumb that down. These are a necessity uh, because you're constantly taking these pipes loose so you can get to your refugium. So uh, well worth the couplings there with the valves in them. Uh, sock filter which looks like I need to rinse. Um, here is my uh, refugium refugium chamber it's um there's some actual that's some uh, live rock that or uh, a DIY rock I guess it's dead rock but uh, maybe it's live now but uh, that I made to look like rock um, and so that was made in the sand bed and I've you know so far like I say I've not had any issues there um, I think I, this was an old 29 gallon aquarium let me back up here a little bit sorry Um, the glass hole sticker is actually covering a crack in the glass. Um, put that on there because I'm anal. I can't stand to look at stuff. As well as the little black stripes are where I spray painted the aquarium black with the just to cover where the baffle baffles are glued in. I've got six uh, six total baffles that I think cost me twelve dollars at Home Depot to have them cut them the size. I was able just to pull off this top of the aquarium specifically I probably because it's so old and uh, pull it off and have it um, just slide them down in there and silicone them in place and I had, I had like two different types of silicone that are aquarium safe and one of them was black and, and I used it up and so then I didn't like the way the black looked on the glass so then I just so I painted the black stripes to cover it up so that makes it look neat and like I say uh, makes me allows me to sleep at night uh, for my analness. So, uh, uh, my new pump, um, let's see if I can get a better angle on it. There we go. Uh, Ahim, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it is super quiet, well worth the money, well worth the wait. Uh, with the, my star foam insulation around here and that, my door shut, I cannot hear this aquarium at all. 
Uh, I'm really pleased with that. So, super quiet pump, very reliable, great deal. So, space is kind of tight here. This is my warning no diving, you know, so it's, I don't want anybody to dive into the aquarium and get hurt. Actually, that was just a sticker I found laying around and I couldn't help but stick it on the back here. So, y'all have a great day. I hope you like the aquarium. Uh, we'll hope to update you soon.